While I was on another case, I received a call on the defendant that my team had to immediately go after. Okay, here's the situation. Uh, on Spencer, yeah. we have the GPS put on the bottom of her Toyota. She's at that apartment, and now she's in, en route to, looks like, Civic Center and Brooks. Yeah. Okay. But the other team said that he didn't get in the car. They didn't see any guy get in the car, so it's just her in the car. So I'm wondering if he's going, she's going to get him some food or whatever. But they said that there's some other people hanging around by the apartment, so we got to get over there with the picture and see if it's him. Let's see what we got. But he's weight, like 280 pounds. 280 pounds. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, eating, he's eating some good yeah, food. So those guys still hanging around right there? Six foot, 280. The big boy, we're going to need two pairs of cows. So we're just standing by here, Jacob, to see if uh, this lady ends up leaving or her boyfriend. Back at this apartment now. They say the car's here, but we don't know. We don't know for sure if our guy's in there right now at this point. So the other part of the team just got here, so we're gonna pull behind him and see uh, what we're gonna be doing here. Where were they hanging out at? They were hanging out over there, up further. They're all back here now, though. They're in the apartment now. Car pulled back out. As far as how many people got in the car, I don't know. One of the that's ladies. A, that's her car over there, right? Yeah. yeah. I'll be watching the kid. And it basically all the way almost against yeah. the wall there. And then right. she, she went in, she came back out by herself. Yeah, there was a group of people. Okay, so she's in there. You gonna hit it? I'm trying to call her right now. All right. See if she'll put him on the phone. Hi, is this Monique? This is Steve from Express Mail Bonds. How's it going? Oh, good. Hey, is Spencer around? Let's go. Just so happened, when they hit the house, other people were there. I think one was his wife, and a couple was his kids. So I assume the defendant gave up easy because he didn't want to involve the family. <coughs> oh, no. We just got off the phone with the bail bond. Oh, yes, sir. Oh my God! What is going on? Uh, I'm not going nowhere. Anybody else in the house? No, just us. Turn the rounds the dog. What is? He's been checking in every Monday. We were supposed to get a notice from the court. We didn't get anything in the mail. The I just another checked court in. Date. I just made a payment. Oh my god. Can you why is there a camera? Are you serious? Can you turn the camera off, please? There's no need for this to be videotaped. Well, uh, he did tell my agents that he had marijuana in his pocket because he knew if we locked him up and they found that that would be a new charge. When is, well, why are you guys taking him? Can somebody please lock him? You want to go to jail too? No. no. Oh, no. 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 I, I swear I didn't know that I missed the court date. 
Nah, man, because I had checked in. They told me they were going to send me something in the mail. Uh -huh. and, no, sir. And that's what I've been checking every day. And I, that's one thing I do, man. I check in every every time you guys tell me to check in. And I've been making my payments. Yeah, I was you, you, got out? you know, it's really a tough situation, man, when you have to go after defendant and his kids have to see him get arrested. A lot of these guys don't understand how much trauma that puts on their children when they're on the run and they hide where their family is. That's hard on a child to see his father go to jail. What we do another day. Good job, man. I'm his corporate child support, so I'ma start running.